Marcus Aurelius, the Stoic philosopher emperor known for his wisdom and self-discipline, left behind a legacy that transcends time. This is our first video in the series of videos about the life and teachings of Marcus Aurelius. In this video, we will unveil lesser-known facets of Marcus Aurelius and provide the insights into the life of a philosopher emperor. Marcus Aurelius was a Roman emperor who ruled from 161 to 180 AD. He was born on April 26, 121 AD in Rome. He became emperor upon the death of his adoptive father, Emperor Antoninus Pius. Marcus Aurelius is often remembered as one of the five good emperors of Rome due to his efforts to maintain stability and improve the administration of the empire. His reign is particularly notable for his military campaigns against various external threats to the Roman Empire, including the Parthian Empire in the east and Germanic tribes in the north. His reign marked the end of the Pax Romana, a period of relative peace and stability in the Roman Empire, which had lasted for nearly two centuries. However, he is renowned not only for his role as a Roman emperor, but also as a prominent Stoic philosopher. Marcus Aurelius is perhaps best known for his philosophical work, Meditations. Meditations, a collection of personal writings composed during his campaigns and travels reflects his Stoic philosophy and offers insights into his thoughts on ethics, virtue, and the nature of the self. Meditations is considered one of the most important works of Stoic literature and has had a significant influence on philosophy and self-improvement over the centuries. While much has been written about his reign and his philosophical work, Meditations, there are several lesser-known facets of his life that provide a more nuanced understanding of this remarkable historical figure. 1. Stoic Mentorship Before becoming emperor, Marcus Aurelius received mentorship in Stoicism from Junius Rusticus, a prominent Stoic philosopher of his time. Rusticus played a crucial role in shaping Marcus Aurelius's philosophical outlook and deepening his commitment to Stoic principles. 2. Emperor at a young age Marcus Aurelius became co-emperor with Lucius Verus in 161 AD when he was just 40 years old. This early ascent to power was the result of Emperor Antoninus Pius's decision to adopt him as his heir. 3. Co-Emperorship with Lucius Verus The joint rule of Marcus Aurelius and Lucius Verus was marked by significant events, including the Parthian War, the Antonine Plague, and the Roman Empire's expansion. While Marcus Aurelius is often celebrated for his wisdom, Lucius Verus's role as co-emperor is less recognized but significant in the context of Roman history. 4. The Antonine Plague During Marcus Aurelius's reign, the Roman Empire was ravaged by the Antonine Plague, possibly smallpox or measles. This pandemic claimed the lives of millions including Lucius Verus, who died in 169 AD. The epidemic had a profound impact on Marcus Aurelius's rule and influenced his reflections on life's uncertainty and the inevitability of death, themes that feature prominently in meditations. 5. Philosophical Reflections on Campaigns one of the lesser-known aspects of Marcus Aurelius's life is his continuous practice of Stoic philosophy during military campaigns. 
Many passages in meditations were written during these campaigns, particularly during the Marcomannic Wars, reflecting his unwavering commitment to philosophy, even in the midst of external challenges. 6. Adoption of Commodus Marcus Aurelius's son, Commodus, who succeeded him as emperor, is often remembered as a tyrant and a stark contrast to his father's stoic virtues. Marcus Aurelius's decision to adopt Commodus as his heir has been questioned by historians and remains a topic of debate. 7. Humility and Simplicity Despite his position as emperor, Marcus Aurelius was known for his humility and simplicity in personal life. He wore plain clothing, lived modestly, and did not indulge in excessive luxuries, a departure from the extravagance often associated with Roman emperors. 8. Beloved by the legions Marcus Aurelius was not merely a philosopher king, he was also a respected military leader. His soldiers held him in high regard, and he was often at the front lines of battles, leading his troops against the Germanic tribes and other threats to the empire. His leadership style, combining philosophical wisdom with martial prowess, endeared him to the legions. 9. Philanthropic Efforts Marcus Aurelius was concerned with the welfare of his subjects, particularly the less fortunate. He introduced laws to protect the rights of slaves, which was a progressive step in the context of the Roman Empire. Additionally, he established charitable institutions to support orphans and poor children. 10. Posthumous Deification Following his death in 180 AD, Marcus Aurelius was posthumously deified by the Roman Senate, a practice reserved for emperors who had left a significant mark on Roman history. This act highlighted the reverence and respect he commanded, even in death. Marcus Aurelius's life is a testament to the multifaceted nature of his character, beyond being a philosopher and emperor. He was a military leader, philanthropist, and intellectual, Marcus Aurelius's life continues to inspire and provide valuable lessons on leadership, philosophy, and the pursuit of wisdom. This marks our first video in a series of videos centered around the life and wisdom of Marcus Aurelius. In our next video, we will embark on a journey that draws inspiration and offers guidance from Marcus Aurelius's teachings about fostering self-control. The link to this video is below in the description.